Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for the 12th, March 12th to the 18th. This is a love reading. Hopefully it comes up as love. It may not, but it's intended to be a love reading. So this is for the sign of Aries. I'm going to get you one oracle, and then we're going to break into the tarot deck. Freedom. <laughs> Perfect, huh? I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Freedom. <laughs> That's beautiful, huh? This is for Aries. I think it's really important to shuffle on screen. So just bear with me while I do it. To me, it's not about saving time. It's about authenticity. Unexpected choice in love, perhaps? I think things have been stalled for a while now. Nobody was taking any action. But it may be, maybe action is finally happening, whether you take it or somebody else does, okay? Because with, with this lover's card, there could be an unexpected uh, choice in love that pops into your life. It feels like you guys is, are freeing yourselves from something. Maybe you're freeing yourself from some sort of emotional tie. I'm not sure. Let's get into this. Yeah, you guys have uh, become very aware. Become very aware of your emotions. That's what this is. And I feel like you've been blocking out love. You've been blocking out love, but... I feel like you come to the point where you can't block it anymore. That's what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Perhaps there's somebody that you've known before. Maybe somebody from your childhood. Maybe it's just somebody even from a past life. You never know. It appears that there's some sort of letting your guard down in regards to love. Aries. I think you've been blocking it. You've been maybe denying your emotions and now you've come to this new awareness that you want to take action but I feel like in the past you were scared to take action but I think action is about to be taken because you don't want to be single anymore you don't want to be alone and you're ready to you're ready to move on you're ready to maybe have a family um, maybe you're ready to just head in a different direction because it feels like you've been through a period, you've been alone, You maybe you've been alone or you don't want to be alone anymore and maybe you weren't enjoying your life of, of uh, what is it, being a bachelor or a bachelorette. Maybe you're like, I'm done with that, I'm ready, I'm ready. And now it's time for you to make a decision. Now it's time for you to stop procrastinating. You have been procrastinating, haven't you? You've been procrastinating. You've been ignoring the truth. You've been ignoring your emotions. And it feels like now you've come to the point where you, you're, you're ready to stop ignoring them. And you're ready to acknowledge, okay? It's like... Oh, um... You're, you're releasing the doubt and the fear, 
Okay, you're, you're ready to, I think you're ready to perhaps let somebody into your circle. I think that you were pretending to be all good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need anybody. I don't want anybody to have that shit. I'm good. And you have so that you know you do you were lacking the ability to take action because in your head you were good, but in your heart you weren't. Okay, so I think that in your head you were like, yeah, I'm good. This that was a protective tactic. Okay, but I think that you have freed yourself from some sort of doubt. Okay, you're you're letting go of doubt, and I feel like there could be somebody that you have known before that. Maybe you're thinking about them and you're thinking about moving towards them, you know, heading in their direction or vice versa. Maybe they're thinking about heading in yours. But I think there is some, there could, this could even be a soulmate connection. And I try not to use the word much because, you know, it's overly used. But with these two cards, the lovers next to the six of cups, you know, it certainly could be, you know, it feels as though this is something that has manifested because you have you're you're finally willing to free yourself from the past okay you're using the resources you have used the resources within you and i feel like you're you're ready you're ready to move on in some way um yeah you're you're you've been holding on you've been you've been resisting something you've been resisting and holding on to the, your old ways, your old habits, you've been holding on to them for so long, you know, change is hard. And you know, you are the, you're the king of wands. So here we have the king of cups. So I think that what's happening here is you are taking on this king of cups energy and you're shedding because this is shedding your old ways and you're becoming more open to love. All right. And it's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, it's like you're looking for something stable and solid. You've manifested it. You have manifested uh, new love. I think there's a new beginning here, okay? There's a new beginning in love. Look at this. And I've been shuffling and shuffling. Um, it changes on the horizon. Change. It's time for you to take the next step. I think you're ready to take the next step, aren't you? Are you ready to take the next step? I think you are. Because it, you, the thing is, is you can't stay <coughs> in this insecure state of mind forever, okay? And I think that's what you're releasing, insecurities. There's a strong connection here. When the lover's card comes out, this person will, this person will definitely... speak to your insecurities put it that way and i think that what's happened is is you're you're ready you're ready for something new there's no more second chances with anybody else and so i might as well move on that's why there's an unexpected choice in love because you're ready to move on there's no more there's no more chance where you were at i mean why stay there there was no more hope You guys were stuck in a predicament <coughs> which was stalling you from moving forward towards love. It was your old ways, but there was no hope there. There was no future there. There was no wish fulfillment being stuck there in your own insecurities. It's like nothing was happening. And now I think that you've become aware after a time of feeling alone, feeling very lonely, feeling like you couldn't offer love. I mean, that's what I see. It's like... There's, there was a lack of awareness. There was a lot of doubt and self-loathing going on within you, okay? You were, you were going through a period of loathing and just like almost like hating the world, depression. You know, there's a lack of hope. Like I've said already, it's like I was, you were feeling sorry for yourself. So you went through this period of feeling sorry for yourself and nothing was changing and nothing was getting better. But then there was the, some shift. The magician, you used the powers within you to shift Okay, to shift from this period of loathing to I'm ready for love. I love myself. I do, and I'm ready, and I want love, and I don't want to live here. I don't. I don't want to be in this this state of mind anymore. I'm ready. 
and it feels like yeah you are feeling very unable to give yourself to anybody okay and when the what, how, that's what it is it's like you I think you went through a period of feeling like you couldn't offer love to anybody but now it's time for a change it's time to take the next step okay because here we have the two of cups reversed with you the king of fire where I think that you were feeling very down lack of energy lack of passion lack of excitement like I said the loathing you know the whole nine yards you were feeling like no 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 nobody wants me I'm not good enough I'm I I'm not worthy, blah, 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 the whole nine yards. And then, you know, you go through this period of reflection and you start to shed your old habits and you start to bring yourself back up again and manifest a new beginning, a new security, a brand new security, okay? So we go from insecurity to new security or new security, you know, whatever way you want to look at it. You had these insecurities within you, which I think that you have freed yourself from, okay? I think you have become aware of the truth. The truth is, is that you do want love, okay? So I feel like that's what it is. And I think because you have made this shift, and I think one of my other readings was about a shift, you have made this shift. There's this unexpected choice that comes in with that lover's card, okay? This, and it says, you know, do you want this or not? Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. Do you stay stuck in that insecure, unhopeful, loathing state of mind, or do you move forward towards this loving, unconditional, uh, best intentions with that King of Cups? Is what It looks like there's somebody around you that probably has the best of intentions, or maybe that's you. Maybe you're thinking a whole lot differently than you used to think. And that's what it looks like to me. It looks like you're, you know, you've been now we have the lover's card reversed that's what this is you've been holding on to a past rejection and letting it fester and letting it hold you back And now it's time for you to take the next step away from that rejection, away from that contract that didn't work out. It's time for you to take the next step and drop it. Drop that connection. It's over. I don't know where that was. I have a problem like that. Anyway, um, yeah, it's time. It's time for you to accept the truth. It's time for an awakening, and that's what's happened. You guys have woke up. I'm awake. I'm wide awake now. I know what the truth is. There was no chance anyway. And now I'm moving on. And I'm headed, I'm put, getting my life back on track. I think that you guys have worked out this insecurity. You're moving forward very quickly. Replacing the fear and the doubt and the loathing with positive good intentions for the future it feels to me like you guys are taking the lead in bringing success in love to your life i want success and love so i'm going to go get it and you're very attracting it as well this is attracting so it appears to me that you guys are coming out of conflict all right you should be feeling very relieved at this time I feel like I, I feel as though you have been reluctant, but now you're deciding to move forward because the time of reflection has served you very well. This time of solitude and focusing on what you want has given you or has opened the direction that you must go in. And I think that's what's happened. I think there was, a, there was a lot of introspection, a lot of solitude, where a lot of strong emotions came up, and a lot of fear, and a lot of doubt. And you needed to work that out. You needed to get through that. You needed to take the time to, to heal and to focus on what you really wanted in the future. So I feel like that's what's happened here, is that there was some kind of contract 
that was broken that was that didn't work out and you needed to you needed to take the time to get your head around it and as you get your head around it you you release some of your old habits i mean with that magician card that's what that is it's taking action to bring success into your life and using all the resources to do that and being able to shed the old and having this connection with the divine that allows you to really use all of your own magic to heal and that's what's happened here it's like you guys have used your own wisdom to grow you know that's what I see it's like I have grown into something different and now I'm ready I think many of you are ready for this this new this new love and I think there is somebody that wants that you know there's somebody that you could be receive you want to communicate with or they're going to communicate with you this is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn and I feel like you're looking or they are or this person is in the future to, you could start a new foundation with them a brand new one and build a strong foundation, firm and solid. And it's time. It's time for you to go down that new path. I feel like you are at the crossroads and you are about to, to have a new partnership. Okay? And you're making a conscious change to let the past go. That's what's happening. You're making a conscious change to let the past go. And when you make that conscious change, it's like you free yourself. You're freeing yourself. I mean, that's what we have going on here. You're freeing yourself from the past inhibitions. I can't think of the word. Oh, what is it? The past. Oh, the cat is bugging me. <laughs> You're freeing yourself from the past um, chains that have held you back. And as you do that, I feel as though there's there's a new path. There's a new path that opens up right in front of you. Could be with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And it leads to a lot of happiness. A lot. So what I see has happening this week is that there could be communication with a new person. Okay, and, it, and it's very unexpected. It could be you communicating with them. And I, I tend to think that's what it is. I think that you have been contemplating, contemplating, um, communicating with somebody that um, you've been procrastinating because of your self-doubt, you know, the whole nine yards. And I think you've come to the point where you're, you're wanting love and you're sick of not being in love and you're ready for love and you're ready for a new partnership. So I think you're ready to let your guard down Okay, because you're ready for some happiness. And it appears to me that this card is very accurate. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So many of you are headed in the direction of happiness. And I feel like communication is imminent this week. Probably with someone that... You know, it's quite unexpected. This person is not your usual type with a lover's card. They don't look like your usual type. They don't act like your usual type. But the connection is very, very, very strong. Okay? I think that you know who this person is. I just do. I really feel deeply that you know who I'm talking about. And that it's time for you to do what makes you happy. Take action, Aries, in regards to your own happiness. That's my advice for this week.